Yo, 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 is D Arthur on this beautiful Wednesday evening afternoon. I'm talking to you guys today about whatever you, whatever, whatever qualities you see in another person is a reflection of all of the qualities that are somewhere hidden inside you. If you see darkness, if you see evil in somebody else, more likely than not, there's some sort of hidden darkness that you're just not aware, unconscious, evil darkness that lies within you that you have to um, that you have to uh, pray about and get out. Like I said, whatever you see in another person, whatever uh, qualities you see in another person, is reflected is uh, lies within you somewhere. If you think someone is pinpoint top of the morning happy always happy never have a never has a frown on his or her face and is just a happy uh human being then more likely than not those are the same qualities that exist in you for whatever you see in somebody else lies within you now a lot of people think that just because uh someone may have an occasional uh sad day or maybe have have an occasional uh happy day that that's who they are but that's technically not really the case you see whatever your uh, default mood is if you always find yourself complaining about something more times than not uh then that's pretty much who you are if you're always complain if you find yourself on a nice vacation let's say hawaii going to hawaii but you for some reason you still find out something to complain about, whether it's something petty, something small, or something monumental. That's the type of person you are. But also, if you are in a bad condition, a really bad condition, but somehow you see the positive side of things, then that is who you are. You choose what you want to believe in. You see, like I said, you're creating your world as you go along. Every single day, you're creating. 24-7, you're creating something. Whether it's good or whether it's bad, you're creating it. So it's up to you to, to see what side of the pillow you want to sleep on, what type of life you want to have. Either you want to have a miserable, dependent life, or you want to be a happy, self-fulfilled man. It's up to you. But whatever you choose is what you get. So focus on the good in life. Focus on things. Focus on the glass being half full, not being half empty. Focus on where you are now and how how uh, dedicated and committed you are to getting to where you will want to be. Don't focus on pessimistic things that will hold you back and do nothing for you. This is the laws of the, of the land. Whatever you put out comes back to you. So put out happiness and that will come back to you. Whatever you see in somebody else lies within you. So make a commitment today to be positive, be happy, talk about blessings, talk about gratitude, write things down, and live a happy and prosperous life. Because happiness attracts success. Being happy attracts success. An example of what I mean by this, if you're constantly happy, you're always looking about the bright side of things, what tends to happen is you're, you're, you're basically calling opportunities and, and fun things into your life. That's what you're calling into your life because that's constantly what you're speaking and thinking about. Now, if you're always talking about misery and dependency, and not enough and lack that is what you're going to keep bringing into your life this is simple physics quantum physics this is simple a lot of people complain but not you do not be a complainer be be grateful be an opportunist be an optimist now there's also another talk about being the fine line between optimism and realism 
Those two things have to be in because you can be optimistic as all you want, but living a life of, um, but being, but having goals that are way out of your reach is still not going to help you. That's why I like to tell people to, uh, uh, set smart goals, specific, measurable, attainable, um, and time, time, uh, time benefited goals. So you're not, you're not throwing something out the wall and hoping it sticks. You have a concrete plan and a deadline on when to achieve your goals. So selling dreams, doing things, I want to be a millionaire. I mean, that's good if you want to be a millionaire, but you have to have con concrete plans and strategic ways on how to achieve that. You can't just put, uh, you can't just put something out in the world that's so vague and think it's gonna become you. There has to be strategic planning. So, whatever you're seeing, whatever you keep getting in your life is a result of you. And the only way to change it is to change your conversation, change your thoughts, become positive, fix solutions. Um, one thing that I learned from someone, a great teacher, was he likes he said he likes to he likes to uh complete tasks as quickly as possible but still keeping the end goal in mind keeping the future in mind that's a that's a beautiful way to live your life doing the strategic planning now but still keeping your uh your sights set on the big goal and the big the big cookie and that is how you'll get uh ahead in life that's how uh the person I'm referring to is Andrew Yang by the way and he uh he's an entrepreneur who gave um he dropped out of the presidential race but he still made quite a name for himself he said he likes to knock out the goals the quick goals effectively fast as possible but keeping the end goal in mind keeping where he wants to be in the future let's say four or five years eight years down the road it's still in the back of his head and that's how he's getting to that's how he'd be turned someone who didn't know who andrew yang is into a capable uh, nominee now for the years to come let's see where where he's headed but there you have it so whatever you whatever you seek comes back to you whatever you keep talking about will become manifest into your life whether you want it to or not so switch your conversation to a high vibration to optimism and positivity and watch how your your uh your world just transform aligning with the things that you are speaking and thinking and seeking like comment subscribe if you thought that was valuable hit that like button subscribe to some of them, watch some other videos and let me know your input because we're all in this together we're all in this together